welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. Morning, folks. Welcome to the Cap Guy Show. That's this guy over here, Mr. One O'Clock in the Morning Guy. <laughs> Blacklist, huh? Yep. Live for three hours and then blacklist. Yep. Is that all you're going to say? Yep. All righty then. Well, anyway, hey, your sales weren't as good as they've been. I know. I still had sales. I know. Sales are sales. Profit's profit. But I'm not happy because you didn't hit your goal. <laughs> well, I'm trying. <sighs> well, what's it to you if I don't hit my goal? Because I want to go to Maui and have a great time. Okay, are you going to get the vaccine too? No, silly, I'm a puppet. I don't have to get that vaccine. You do. And maybe him. Is he going with us? No, he's not going with us. Good. Because I'm sick of him too. Maybe I should get a shot. I'm sick of everybody's shot. I'm sick of who you sick of? I'm sick of you guys. And I'm sick of where that other guy. He's he running around here. There's a bunch of them. The enemy man's leaving. Raymond won. Congrats, Raymond. Make sure you send that address on Instagram. Anyway, what else going on? You saw us yesterday. You got that video coming up, right? Yep. There he goes with you up again. What else? What else? Uh, had fun last night? Didn't we already say that? <laughs> yeah, we did. MML was his normal, his usual self. Yep. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Folks. All righty then. We're out of here. We're going to get on what's sold. And the cap guy, who can't talk today for some reason. And then we're going to get out of here. See you later. Man, this is confusing. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a great time last night on the live. I um, appreciate everybody that was there. And again, I appreciate the hours and people viewing the channel. I don't think yesterday's video, not the live, but the other one hadn't had a lot of views yet. But that's all right. Check it out. Uh, there's some good sales. And I'm going to get to the post office. I only had nine sales, and I did not hit my 150 profit goal, but you'll see that here in a few minutes. I did source yesterday, spent almost a hundred bucks and got some pretty good stuff. I listed all of it except for one pair of Hoka shoes um, because I ran out of time to get on to the live. I did 28 listings yesterday. So I've done probably around 75, 80 listings already this week. And my goal is to list 20 a day, but I've been exceeding that as well. So list, list, list. You know who. And, uh, Anyway, I appreciate everybody, and we're going to get on with it because we don't want the video to run forever. And y'all have a great day. If I can help you, please reach out, comments below, or the cap guy underscore Oklahoma on Instagram. See you in a bit. All right. I am back from the sourcing wars. So I spent just under $100, and I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, man. This first one's heavy. This one is $12.99, but it was 75% off. So there you go, about uh, four, a little over four and a quarter. It is a Rydell, which is one of the best name brand helmets you can buy. And it's one of the newer models. You can see the style of the, uh, the air holes. Not air holes, but letting your head breathe anyway. Uh, there you go, blue, beautiful blue helmet. And uh, I'll make some good money. That's probably a 60 or $70 used helmet. The only video game of the day Call of Duty Black Ops, paid two oh two. This is about a fifteen sixteen dollar game on Xbox One, so you don't have to endure that. At the same place that I got the video game, Goodwill, Hoka. Anytime you see Hoka tennis shoes, running shoes, you go ahead and grab them. I'll do some cleaning up on them. I did look at the uh, structure of them, make sure they weren't cracked or peeling or anything, but they. I'll do a little cleaning. Five thirty five for those. Now remember. Actually, everything you see that I mentioned, those last two items, I get 15% off because it's old man discount day at Goodwill. Okay, the next thing 
I paid, uh, what did I pay for this? About $5.14. It is a clown troll doll. JT will love it. Love it. Probably not. Um, what else did I get at that set, at that place? I'm trying to stay within the same stores first. Um, I got these for a dollar and fifty cents or a dollar. Uh, is that right? No, one ninety nine. They're half of what it says. These are three Harry Potter Fellowship of the Ring twenty four inch diamond kites. I did I did look them up and there weren't any listed, so I will list these individually. See what I can get out of those, but it'll be more than a dollar ninety nine. I assure you. Um, what else did I get? Yep, found a receipt. This one I just picked up. It was uh, three thirty three, and I grabbed it again, fifteen percent off. It is kind of an anime themed T shirt, and I'll look at that closely to comp it. If not. My granddaughter is huge into anime, and she's 13. Um, one ball cap. It is brand new with tag, and it is ben or the Horseshoe Casino in Vegas, 36 World Series of Poker. And I will look that up because I don't know how many series of World Pokers they've had. I used to be a big online gamer, uh, but not anymore. Uh, this, I paid 15, actually 16 and a quarter with tax and everything. This is a Kevin Durant. How about this, Julian? Kevin Durant, Oklahoma City Thunder, but this is the NBA West All-Stars jersey. This one goes for about $45, I think. Um, I just did a preliminary on it. I'll look a little closer. But, of course, he doesn't play here anymore, but you can see on the tag, All-Star Game, large. So there you go. And the other one, they had a uh, Sam Bradford Philadelphia Eagle jersey. He didn't play there very long, and I didn't pick it up for $15. It's not worth it. Um, the next one is Jerry Rice, and we know he spent most of his career with the, with the 49ers, but this is a Raiders. I also spent 16 and a quarter for this one, a little more than I probably should have. But you know what? You don't see Jerry Rice jerseys that much anymore. It is Reebok. It is on field, and he's a Hall of Famer. So there you go. I uh, did find quite a few jerseys, which is something I don't normally see. But the next uh, store, um, these I paid full price. These were $6.99, and they're all Oklahoma Center jerseys. Uh, two are white. These were all 28, which the most famous player for 28 recently was Adrian Peterson that played more of that number at OU. Um, here's number seven. That's actually the number of the current quarterback, Mr. Rattler. So that one should sell pretty good. Again, I gave $6.99. And what size are these? I think these are like, they're all XLs. This one is another one in red. And it's number three. And again, they're all Nike. Probably donated by the same person. They were all hanging together and they're all the same size. But I'll pay $6.99. And then this one actually has the Orange Bowl patch on it from 2005 National Championship. And if memory serves me correct, that was against Florida and they lost. So I don't know if this one will sell or not. Sooner jerseys don't like wearing stuff where they lost. But, hey, it does have the patch. And, then again, it is 28. And it is an XL. So there's those. At that same store, I grabbed this jacket. It is by... It's a women's order plus and whatever that logo is, but it is brand new. It is pleather, not leather, but it is a pretty cool bomber jacket, brand new with tags and it's brown. And what size is this bad boy? It is 2XL, ladies 2XL. It is pretty nice. Looks like I can, I bet I'll probably get 40 bucks for that. And Found a cap. If those of you remember this show, I used to love watching that show. Mr. Mike Rowe, Dirty Jobs. Paid $1.99 for that cap. And then I found one of these for $0.99. Cents. It is Austin, Texas Rocks. Music capital of the world. I know Nashville thinks they're the music capital, but a lot of people think Austin is. 
And then I got this. For $1.99, it is a rice bowl. It is Japanese, as you can see. And whether it's valuable or not, I don't know. I kind of looked for something similar, and I didn't do a lot of research, but um, I'll keep it if it ain't valuable because it's just kind of cool. And I'm cool like that. You know what I mean, Vern? So there's those. And I think that may be... Yeah, that's the extent of it, folks. But between $95 and $100, and I got to update my spreadsheet, get ready for a live here in a little bit, and I'll see you later. All right, let's get into what we sold. Uh, JT's a little sad because, as you heard, we didn't hit our goal, but uh, we've been exceeding it so much, it's all right. They can't all be winners. They can't all be winners, can they? <clears throat> Love that movie. Uh, champion, New York Giants, Dave Brown, size 44. It's a jersey, as you can see. I've had this for a long time. And I can't even remember where I picked it up. It was probably Goodwill. Um, actually, it was. And he was a quarterback for a short period of time with the Giants. And I uh, sold this. I paid five thirty-five. I sold it for eleven twenty-five, plus shipping. Trying to move it, and here's my profit. The next is a set of the former Big Twelve mini helmets in a package sealed. I got this for a dollar at a yard sale this past summer. The teams that are missing now out of the Big Twelve are Nebraska and Colorado, Missouri, and Texas A&M. They're no longer in this conference. So there you go. We haven't added anybody else. So, um, paid a dollar, like I said. Sold these for twenty-five as free shipping, and here is my profit. The next is retail arbitrage. It is PS Five Mortal Kombat Ultimate. This is about a fifty-dollar game, and uh, they had it on sale at Target for twenty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, right after the first of the year, so they only allowed us to buy one at a time, or I would have bought them all. But um, anyway, I paid twenty nine ninety nine. I sold this for forty five dollars plus shipping, and here is my profit. The next is a leather motorcycle jacket. It is unbranded. It has a tag, but there's no name on it. It is a uh, large, and it is a heavy motorcycle jacket. But uh, I got a. Gentleman asked me about it, wanted to know another measurement that I don't typically measure, which was shoulder to shoulder seams. I always do armpit to armpit and length. And um, I paid $7 at a yard sale for it. And he paid me 49. I sent him an offer, part of my 10%, plus I sent an offer to get the thing to bite. And uh, it bit 49 plus shipping. And here's my profit. The next is Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D PC. Pick this up in Duncan in that $10 box. If you've been watching my channel, I got a ton of video game or PC games for $10. I still have a bunch of them and I've sold a bunch of them. I made a lot of money. So this one was valued at 25 cents in the bundle deal. And I sold this for $15.99 with free shipping. And here's my profit. The next is a Nissan. Hawaiian cap. I have a few of these. This is purple. I have other colors that are similar. Uh, there's nothing on the hat as far as logos or anything. They're all brand new. I paid 50 cents a piece. Bought a handful of them just to see. And I haven't sold a whole lot, but uh, I've got a couple of watchers on a couple of them now, now that my old stuff's showing up un under promoted listings. So I had uh, 50 cents invested, sold it for $9.89 plus shipping. Again, part of my 10%. And here is my profit. The next is uh, Kirby's Dreamland on Nintendo Game Boy, 1992. It's in a plastic case. And there you go. Paid $7.14 as a bundle deal at a state sale for a bunch of Game Boy games. 
and I've sold several of them, but I still have a bunch of them left. The, I paid a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but I wanted to get them because there were a couple of valuable games in the lot. And so there you go, 714 in, sold this one for 17, not one of the higher end games, plus shipping, and here's my profit. The next is a Pizoff, P-I-Z-O-F-F, -F, and no, I didn't do that to anybody. Well, maybe. Look at that, my keys are in the picture. I was taking this on the table. Well, my picture taking is definitely improved. <laughs> Um, I got this at Goodwill for five thirty-five. dollars sold it for eighteen forty. It's pretty cool. It's a kind of a dry fit shirt, brand new with tags, sold it for eighteen forty with free shipping. And here's my profit. And then this is the last thing. So last night, body glove jacket. Um, I think I got that at Goodwill. Seven thirty-seven would be my comp or my valuation. What I paid. Sold it for 19 plus shipping, and here's my profit. So on the day, I had nine sales. My cost of goods were higher than they normally are at $63.95. My sales were $217.50, or $210.53, and my profit was $101.11. $49 lower than my goal, but again, I've been exceeding it a lot lately, so I'll take it. Sales are sales, profit's profit. Thanks again, everybody, for last night's live. We had a great time. I appreciate everybody as always. And uh, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing if you have it. On my way to 700, but I'm a ways away from it. I should hit my 4,000 hours this week. So now I just got to get to 1,000 <clears throat> and clear my throat. Y'all have a great day. And the cap guy and JT, we will talk to you tomorrow as we always do. Have a great day, folks.